Reese James. Yes! <laughs> Lauren, Reese James, Lauren James. <laughs> You got 10 points for the game. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Here comes Lightning. This is Kirby. It's in. Loftus Cheek. Yeah. Boom. Fran Kirby and Ruben Loftus Cheek. I'll start with the first question, which is quite lightweight. It's. What is the name? I think you're going to find this so random. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what is the name of the festival that takes place in West London every August to celebrate Caribbean heritage? Carnival. <laughs> what, what, no? what carnival? Oh. Ruben, I swear you're Caribbean. As yeah, well. but I just, <laughs> <laughs> just call it carnival. Isn't it? Okay, I'll, I'll give you the two points. It's okay. Notting Hill Carnival. Oh, oh yeah, of course. How about you? Say, no, you just <laughs> yeah. chose festival to carnival. That can't be a point. <laughs> Next question, I'm going to use your brain a little bit more. So I'm going to ask this question for the men and the women's team. So mm. firstly for the men's, what country is represented the most in your current team? Ooh. Besides England. Spain? Very close. Spain, Spain is one of them. Yeah, They're I was going to say that. Countries. Spain. So what other languages do you hear up in the changing room a lot? French, yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. So it's France yeah. and Spain. What country is most represented in the women's team? I'm seeing the smirk ribbon. <laughs> I'm seeing the dress. <laughs> I want to say Swedish. You're right. Yes. Love yeah. that. Love that you paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. The first Chelsea float represented the club at Pride in London. What year was this? 2019. Incorrect. It was last year. Really? Yep. Wow. And the first Chelsea float, everyone was on it. Oh, that's um, really cool. I wanted to ask you both individually, what do you think has sort of changed the most in your time being within the club? I think mine's going to be fun. very drastic to yours. <laughs> 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 the changes. Uh, what's changed the most? Yeah. From when I first went into the first team, it was very, I felt quite alone when I was over there. There was a young kid coming over yeah. and it was that competitive environment that was, was quite daunting. Nowadays, with the young boys coming over, it's very, we, we got open arms, we want them to succeed, and it's very much like a family kind of vibe. It must be very fulfilling for you mm. to not have had that and been able to provide that for the other academy yeah. players coming yeah, up yeah, as yeah. well. Fran? <laughs> for me, everything, I think, has changed down yeah. there. I think coming into an environment where we didn't have changing rooms, you know, turn up with your water bottles and you put it on the side of the pitch and you know, you had two sets of training kit, you had to take home and wash it yourself, and now obviously we've got a full building down there with our own changing room, and we have a lot more different nationalities in the team. Really eye-opening to see the changes through the years, and when I look back now, like I said, we didn't even have changing rooms, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really special. We're gonna go for another light-hearted question. I'm looking at you, Ruben. Mm -hmm. What <laughs> is the famous South London chicken shop called? <laughs> no clue. No. It is no. Morley's. Morley's? You, you don't know what Morley's is? No. Absolutely shocking. Okay, so I'm going to move on to some music and fashion questions. First question is, what UK rapper filmed scenes for his music video in Stormzy Bridge last year? Oh, last no. Oh, it's not no. Damn it. <laughs> Cut that. Oh. You're in the <laughs> <laughs> You know who it is, right? You want to know? Yeah, go on. Okay, it's Central C. Oh. oh, okay. I was going to ask you, there's been a lot of debates about music performances and obviously Rihanna just did the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So what UK artist would you both put in your mm. halftime show? Could it be people who aren't alive anymore? Yeah. Queen. Oof. That has to be a Wembley. Absolutely yeah, sold FA out. FA Cup is at Wembley. Yeah, Wembley yeah. sold out. Ruben? Um, I think the artist I like might not be appropriate. I want to know now. Um, but I, I actually like Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I'd say Ed Sheeran. A little bit of shape of you at half time. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see the vision. Yeah. I see the vision. Um, what US rapper was surprised by Ashley Cole with a tour of the bridge? I was going to say Drake, but that was a while ago. Mm. Yeah. Um, he had a song called First Class. That was oh, on the radio that, everywhere. Oh, yeah. Fran, you got like one of the first points of the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Last question in the sort of fashion bit. What Chelsea player has a collab that celebrates the spirit of his country with clocks? Raheem Sterling. Yeah. Congratulations, you've got the second points of the quiz. <laughs> you need to be quicker on it, aren't you? I know, I know. Yeah, I, can hear I feel you like it clicked in his head, but you said it straight away. <laughs> yeah. Now we're on to the three final questions of the quiz, and they're called the firsts. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I need to try and get a point. You need to. <laughs> Who was the first black manager to win the FA Cup? No idea. No. Mm -mm. Rude Gillip. Okay. Oh. I know you know it, but it was racking in your brain a bit. Who was the first female footballer to be on the Global Edition of FIFA? Uh, was it, it was it Sam Kerr? It was Sam yeah. Kerr. It was yeah. Super Sam Kerr. And the last question is, who became the first brother and sister to play for the England senior squad? Rhys James. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Lauren, Rhys James, Lauren James. <laughs> You got 10 points for the game. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. What do you think the world can learn from football? Inclusion in every aspect. Male, female, sexuality, race. There's still a long way to go outside of clubs yeah. in terms of fan bases, in terms of rivalries. But I think if everyone feels that football is a safe environment for them, then that's the way it should be. I think we have a big responsibility on us. Um, I don't think we realise how big we impact the world and young kids who want to play football. We have to you know, take that responsibility to, to show the way of what's right and the right way is no discrimination. Everyone's the same and anyone can play the sport. I do believe that football can solve a lot of our issues and if we take it more seriously and unite more as fans and as clubs, we can definitely make a bigger impact on a larger scale. So thank you both. Fran, you're the quiz winner. Congratulations. Ruben, you. you got 10 points. You answered one question <laughs> right and you didn't get any questions draw. that you it's should have got right. It's a draw. Thank you both for joining me. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.